Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Brugly channel. It's me, Brugly, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about Backrooms Level 36 and Level 37. These levels are pretty interesting, so if you like the sound of that, stick around for the explanation, and without any more blabbering, let's get into it. Backrooms level 36, aka the airport, is classified as a class 1 difficulty and is safe with a few entities around. It looks like an airport from real life, except this one is completely empty, minus a few stores and vending machines laying around. Some of those stores, or restaurants in some cases, are from real life. However, you can't really eat the food from these places because it could give you food poisoning and you don't want to risk that. The vending machines on this level only give out almond water even if there's other brands on the front of the vending machine. So like if it says Coke, it'll still give out only almond water. And that seems to be a trend in the back rooms since this kind of thing happens on a ton of different levels. You'll see a regular looking vending machine that only gives out almond water. The airport says it's located in Houston, Texas, even though it's not in Texas, it's in the back rooms, so I'm, I don't know. There are doors that say exit on the side of the airport, but you shouldn't go through them because they can lead to dangerous levels or even undetermined and undiscovered levels. All of the terminals inside of this airport have planes outside of them, and the brands on these planes are from real life too. So you got Delta, American Airlines, that kind of stuff. But they're all empty. There's actually a newly discovered area to level 36 too, and it's called the airport basement. It's pretty much just a huge location under the main floor with no windows or much light, and it goes on forever. There's this train tram system on the border of this area, and it'll take you to different parts of it, even though there's nothing else, except staircases. And these staircases lead up, but they don't really go up. Instead, they just go up and down infinitely, kind of like the end level, which is weird because that makes no sense. As far as bases and outposts go, there's one called Flight 914, which is actually a community made up of people from the real life Pan Am Flight 914 that disappeared in 1955. This group is located near the American Airlines gate, the first one you see, which is pretty cool that there's real missing people in the back rooms. That could explain some stuff. There are other small groups throughout the level as well, since it's infinite, and there's also infinite almond water, so it's not too bad of a place to stay. To enter this level, you have to go on the metro on any of the levels it's available on. Specifically, it mainly works from levels 9 to 11 and you can exit by walking through the airplane terminals to the planes themselves. The American gates tend to lead to level 4, and the Delta gates tend to lead to level 0, and the other airlines, they kind of just have random levels they send you to, so it's not for sure or mapped out which ones you go to, and if you notice that there's an unmarked airline, don't go through that gate, because we have no idea what's going to happen to you. So yeah, that was level 36, an infinite airport with planes and stuff like that. Kind of reminds me of level infinity, but less crazy. Now, let's go to level 37, shall we? Backrooms level 37 is classified as a class 3 difficulty and is pretty unsafe. It takes on the appearance of an infinite jungle with trees that aren't really recognizable from real life, but they kind of look normal. It's whatever. These trees grow weird fruits that are actually safe to eat, which is kind of neat. And the skies on this level are a deep purple color, but can sometimes change to blue or green depending on the time of day. The forest itself is split by a bunch of dirt paths that sometimes can lead from the main path off to different directions. And these directions can be dangerous because they haven't been fully explored yet, but some of them, like the ones I'm about to talk about, have been explored and we know what they're about. If you go left at any path intersection that you run into, you'll end up at the waterfall. No matter which path on the left that you take, you'll end up at the waterfall. Obviously, it's unknown how anyone can get to the waterfall by just going left, but it's the back rooms. I mean, <laughs> nothing makes sense here. If you stay straight on this main path, you'll be sent to an area where there's temples, and these temples are abandoned. They look kind of like Mayan temples from real life, but they're old and they might have even predated real life Mayan temples. On the ground near these, there are a bunch of abandoned little camps from old outposts that are just decaying and rotting away. 
There's also some stone tablets with text carved in them, and these texts explain the history of these lost Mayans. In fact, the people who made these pyramids called themselves the Lost Mayans, which is pretty cool. If you go right on any of the path intersections, then you'll show up to a wooden cabin. This cabin is where the main entity from this level lives and goes to, and those entities are facelings. The facelings themselves look like they're explorers from the 1800s, and they carry really old weapons and stuff like that. I'm assuming they look kind of like that guy from Tarzan. But anyways, the Facelings main base is this cabin that I just talked about. It's on the right side of the path, and if you go in the cabin, you won't be able to see any of the Facelings that you just saw walk into it. Because when you walk through the doors, four things could happen to you. You could walk in, and it could be a completely normal cabin with nothing wrong. Or you could walk in, and you could just end up in level negative one. Or all your bones will shatter, and you'll have a heart attack and dissolve. Cool. The last thing that could happen is that there will be a bar right in front of you and you'll be served by a random stranger. I mean, that's that's pretty weird. I, I gotta say that's pretty strange, even for the back rooms. So just don't walk in the cabin. The other parts of the jungle that aren't the temples or the cabin or the waterfalls, it's all glitchy and there's just weird glitches and non-Euclidean properties that happen that don't really make any sense. Like trees can just be floating or they can fall over and then stand back up. It's, it's crazy. This is also where the majority of the creatures live on this level, like death moths, dollars, skin stealers, and wretches as well as other normal jungle life, like monkeys and stuff. But to me, I, I'm not sure how they're going to live there since the jungle glitches, but if they do, well, more, more power to them. To enter level 37, you can find an empty park on level 11 and roll in the grass until you're sent here. <laughs> cool. To exit, you can fall asleep and you'll wake up on level negative two, or you can walk towards the sunrise in the morning and you'll be sent out of the level. Neat. So yeah, those were levels 36 and 37. I do hope you enjoyed them. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so I can get to 500k to get the backrooms outfit, which is just an outfit with the backrooms wallpaper outline and design printed on them. I'm going to wear it in a bunch of videos. It's going to be awesome. We're getting close for real. I mean, we're almost at 300k. We're literally, we're, chop, we're chipping away at this. We're chipping away. Thank you all so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it. Check out the description for any links you might want, like Twitter, Discord, second channel, wink, 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 all that kind of good stuff. Stuff, and thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace.